let's talk about what we need to do to set it up to have a good start for animation. Uh, one thing we could do is go up to the workspace and we could switch this to animation. And you can see that it's going to give us uh, basically the, the everything that we need for animation. Okay, If I leave it at my classic, which I think I will, um, it, it makes it a little bit cleaner. I'll show how to, else to get to different menus. Uh, first of all, down here, this is our timeline. And this is going to be important that we can see this. And if you don't see that, you can go to Window, uh, UI Elements, time, time Slider. And you can see if I hide that, Window, UI Elements, Time Slider. Okay, We're definitely going to want to see that. Uh, you can see that also over here in the channel box, I can push this button here, uh, there's animation layers. Okay, so that's something that we might have to work with. Um, I also have under the window animation editors. These are all of the different animation editors. So one of them uh, that is going to come in handy is the graph editor. If I click on that, we can see that is there. And also, Something else that's important is if I go to Window, Settings, Preferences, Preferences, I can see in here under Animation, let me see, there it is. Um, here are the animation preferences if you need to adjust anything. Um, we don't need to get into that right now, but we may look at this a little bit later. If I click on, uh, let's see here animation up here you can see that there's also some other display animation settings and oh, let's see if i go down here to time slider that's also some animation settings uh, with the most kind of important one being our frame rate okay how many frames is it going to be per second of animation and you can see that we can go from two all the way to 48,000 frames per second. I've never really seen that. I think the most common ones to use would be 24 frames a second or 30 frames per second. Okay. And what that means is that the, imagine if you had kind of a flip book and there'd be 24, literally 24 frames that you flip through and that would be one second of animation okay and if i put this to 30 um, then obviously it would be 30 frames would equal one second of animation then this would be two seconds of animation three seconds of animation so um it doesn't really matter um, what you have here I'm just going to have it set to 24 frames a second for our animation. So I just wanted to make sure that we all had the same settings um, for our animation. All right, I think we're ready to get started.